All right, welcome back. We are now going to eat healthy. We've been talking about moving and getting in shape, but it's a challenge. The food is a challenge. I work, I'm pretty good about the workouts, but the food is what derails me every single time. So we've got some options today. Pamela Nisevich Bead. Yes. See, that was a hard name and I, I know. Got to give me credit. <laughs> yes, I do give you credit. You're a registered dietitian. I am. I am. And today we're going to look at ways to kind of use our summer flavors to make something healthy. And luckily this recipe is pretty quick. So when you get home from that busy day at the office or out on the road, um, everything tends to look good in the pantry, you know, <laughs> things that we shouldn't eat. So we're going to talk about how to kind of make that healthier choice and okay. still enjoy a lot of flavorful food. Okay, so go through the ingredients here right now, what you've got. Okay, so first we'll make the, the dressing. And, and then we're, we're making a really healthy salad. Absolutely. Okay. So we've got some red wine vinegar, mm -hmm. and you can use red wine, balsamic, whatever flavor really you like. We've got some walnut oil, and again, there's different oils, but the walnut oil is good because it gives some nutty flavor, and it's got a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. Oh, which, I have never used, I mean, I put walnuts in things, right, but never right. walnut so oil. Right, right. So it's kind of the same concept mm -hmm. but omega-3s are hard to kind of get in our diet fish has a lot yeah. of it flaxseed but it's another place you can find omega-3s and it fights inflammation that's a really good tip yes <laughs> yes and uh, then we have some honey so honey is rich in antioxidants it gives you a little bit of sweetness but doesn't quite affect the blood sugar like a regular sugar would mm -hmm. And then we're going to use blackberries for the dressing. Very high in antioxidants. Oh, what a, I love blackberries. It's one of those things right now when you go to the store, they're always good. They're yes. just, they're big and ripe and in season and gorgeous right, right now. Yes, and we're, you can use fresh mm -hmm. like you would today or in the winter months you could use frozen. Either one will work. We've got some mint just to kind of spice things up a little bit. Excellent. And so these are your dressing ingredients. Yes. So, okay. so what we'll do is we just... I've got the honey and the oil and the vinegar all mixed together. All right, you put that in there. I'm going to get something real quick too all for right. this for this salad idea. See if it works. I don't know. Oh nope, I don't have one. Looking for a jar. All right, keep going. And you can add as much or as little honey, oil, vinegar as you'd like. Mm -hmm. We've got some mint. We've got the blackberries, which hopefully won't splash up all over us. Oh yeah, that they do stain. Yes. <laughs> But there's no put, the, put the lid on tightly. That's right. And you don't need a, you just a blender. This is not any special. No, nope, just a regular. Like we've had juicers on here before and Vegemite and Mimic. Yeah, yeah, This is no, just no. a very nice little blender. Yeah. You okay. could use, you could use a blender. You can use a food processor. You just want to get it all mixed Pulse up together. that up together yep. well. Okay. And so then we've got about four cups of lettuce. You can, we've, we're using like a spring mix. You can use spinach, whatever okay. you prefer. We've got some dried cherries. And the cherries and the blueberries both are really rich in antioxidants. Yeah, talk a little bit about cherries and blue. I mean, sometimes everybody loves fruit. I'm now down here messing around looking for the jar that I was found in the jar. Okay, berries are the best fruit to eat. And talk about, you know, in terms of the reason you should choose berries if you're choosing fruit for your diet. And I, you know, I think when we look at any fruit, each fruit has a benefit, but berries are such a concentrated source of antioxidants. You know, um, there's research that they can help prevent cancer. When you look at something like the cranberry, it really fight, fights inflammation. It helps, you know, reduce certain infections. So each berry is, is really rich in their own, you know, polyphenol or anthocyanidin. They each have components naturally that keep us healthy. Well, because I love fruit, we all love fruit, it's great. We know it's better to have an apple than to have a candy bar. But when you look at if you're eating fruit a lot, you do have to think about, for me, grapes are almost as bad as a tri trigger as eating other sugary things. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I They spike my desire for more sugar sure. and I love grapes. But sometimes if I do something like choose the berry instead, mm -hmm. I find myself able to maintain, you know, the diet part of, you know, okay, I'm not going to overeat these, but I feel satisfied. Um, right. So for me, a berry is, is definitely a better choice because people don't talk about sometimes sugar can be sugar. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like the, the banana and the grape, like right. you're talking about. The nice thing about the berries is like something like the blackberry, like we were talking about, one cup gives you eight, cup, eight grams of fiber. And that the, also fills you right, up. Right. So that's <laughs> like a third, you know, a third to a quarter of your daily fiber needs right there. And so for this, you've got um, 
you know, you've got all your components. The mm -hmm. reason I was fishing around for my jar is because um, what we're talking about too is, is, is speed. Sometimes if you are making a salad like this, if you have the components, you want to have uh, this tomorrow for lunch too, layer these in a jar. Have oh, you absolutely. done that? You layer the salad yeah. in a jar, don't put the dressing in there, put the dressing in something else, and you're talking, you know, something you can put in your lunch bag. That's, that's a great idea. Right? And, yep. and you just do each, and, and then it doesn't get mushy or anything, but you do each layer of the salad in the mason jar. This is a little bit smaller than what I would do. I have bigger ones, but, you know, I was fishing around looking for stuff in the kitchen and not finding what I need because I never put things in the same place twice. Ask my husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is when we've got our time and, and made the commitment, and I've got it in the fridge, and it's fantastic. But we do want to talk about... Um, on the go you're on the go you're traveling yes, all the time. <laughs> you don't have this what right. do you do you know i whenever i go on the road i'm always looking for a healthy option on the road and you know we're we're busy moms mm -hmm. we're busy athletes whatever you're going to end up stopping at you know a quick service restaurant and usually when i do stuff at mcdonald's i like the new mcwraps okay because i can get grilled chicken i can get crispy if i'm feeling a little more adventurous a little more <laughs> indulgent and there's a nice blend of vegetables in there. We've got some, you know, fresh, fresh lettuce. We've got cucumbers, tomatoes, etc. There's three different flavors. They're all coming in under 460 calories. I usually go with the sweet chicken chili um, because it's around like 320 calories. Oh, so wow. well, well under that 400 mark that well, you know I'm trying to I... hit. My next book is called Sick of Chicken Salad <laughs> because it seems like when you're trying to watch yourself on your diet or trying to stay healthy everywhere you go you can always get a chicken salad mm -hmm. but you get bored with that sure. everywhere you go so i really like the idea of the wrap and just a little bit different flavor in there and again under 320 calories that's you're, you've not derailed yourself right right so for the this <laughs> there's three different ones and they're mm -hmm. all like they're all you know there's 320 calories there's 460 depending on what you you know mm -hmm. what which what flavor you, you choose um but you can customize the wrap just like you can on any any item on the menu at McDonald's. All right, so there's your two options. If you're planning and you're at your own house, make sure you uh, make yourself, I really want to try this dressing. Because it's, I, I mean, I, all the components fine, but the dressing, I really like that idea. And don't forget your walnut oil. Yes. What a great tip. All right, uh, when we come back, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Everybody else wants ice cream, and I don't always want ice cream. I want to, you know, do something a little bit different. We've got smoothies here. Uh, same idea. It's going to taste great. It's going to be good on the go. And it's perfect for summer. Look at that. Oh, those are so pretty. Stay with us.